It turned me loose in the nervous hospital, and I was well. All right, how about a chow hog here? Uh, season 26 fixing to come to a close here in the next two, three hours. I'm um, going we'll to try to bring y'all some last second uh, closing footage. and then. Uh, but before I do that, if y'all saw my season 27, the truth is video, I got it pinned right here. Uh, that talks about how I think Wizard is uh, going to be the best build in the game. A lot of people were overlooking that, especially with the last second changes they did to Wizard. Uh, except for my man, Wujo over here, it looks like he kind of picked it up. So I just want to go over there and watch this video with y'all and show you that, uh, this is probably going to be game breaking build here. Let, let's see what he's got to say about it. Just finished updating all the defeat panels for next season. So in case you're not aware, I've been working on this for the last few days on the stream, just slowly going through every single build, updating them. And, um, we have all the planners here. They are on my Discord if you are interested in just grabbing some of the new planners. Uh, but the new Maxwell guides are yet to come. So I've just been working on them for like 14 hours straight. So I didn't actually do anything else tonight, today. And one of those projects was writing the new LOD Meteor Wizard. So I completely reworked the guide and we have a new Bazooka Wizard coming up, it seems. So as you might have seen in the final patch notes, there was a huge buff here. Yeah, so that right there was a big deal for me. Um, you know, like I said, Wujo talked about it. Not a lot of people were talking about it. Uh, the meteor shower rune is now applied to all casted meteors and deals three to four hundred percent increased damage. Y'all, that is that's a lot, 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 lot. Um, we're also not talking about other stuff like Tower Rasha bonus or all the other things it's doing. So keep in mind that, um, you are immune. So you can barely see up here, cold fire or lightning, um, arcane will grant immunity to that element and cause a meteor of the same type to fall from the sky. You're going to be raining meteors all over the place. And I don't think you're going to be able to take a lot of damage. With member of twilight now giving you meteor shower to whatever meteor you use and 400% extra damage. That's it's wild. absolutely bonkers. That is it's, just, just awesome. It's, it's really crazy how powerful that is. And we are basically back to bazooka times now with uh, the damage and even beyond most likely. So we have the new smoldering core that basically replaces the old death wish. And now we also have the mempo that gives us this insane buff here that wasn't crazy. really present before. And yeah, I guess you also lost the edge sigil but this doesn't really compete with the other helm. So I've been working on this planner here and I made some like fresh out of the oven setups, solo push, four man, speed, GRs, everything. And it's looking amazing for the Meteor Wizard, for LOD and also for Tarasha. So yeah, I have the Tarasha set up as well here. Um, that looks a bit different. There's no Archon there. You just can't do it with all the different uh, like items required. You just have too many. Let's look at that a minute. So it's got all guilds, Mepho of Twilight, Tal Rasha set. What is that? That's Tal Rasha's Ami. So that's probably going to be Conviction of Elements and Oculus Ring, I'd imagine. And then I don't know what those boots are. That's, ah, I can't wait to play this. Any pieces, there's so many Mido items so that you can only do Archon on LOD. And you can also do non-Archon on LOD. So yeah, if you really don't like Archon. it, you can also play this. There has various variations, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't show you any actual gameplay of this. This is mostly it's theoretical, right? but I think we have the mechanics pretty much down. And I think I have the setups down unless there's some big surprise on patch day and something works completely differently than expected. I want y'all to look at something real quick. Look over here for this LOD Meteor build. Look at the toughness on this character. 4.2 billion on a wizard with 6666. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So it, the, the, what this is looking like to me is it's going to be LOD Meteor, which I... Y'all give me your opinion down there in the, in the uh, comments. I don't know. Maybe LOD is always powerful than in, uh, being like a set piece or anything more powerful. But um, I just personally like playing sets. 
But the Taurasha, that's my favorite. It was my favorite in D2, and I'm really excited to see that. But look at them damage numbers right there. That's more Which, than a month. Yeah, seems unlikely. But I have this old video here from season 19 when I uh, went on uh, NA and did some quick rank one here with um, Rax's team as a support DH. And uh, this is basically how the um, Meteor Wizard looks in action. So you like throw this one big star pack and boom. And this is a GR 150. This was uh, before it was uh, like completely wow. annihilated from the, the following patch. So this wow. was when the old bazooka wizard was still very he just strong. Annihilated, he just annihilated that entire pack of trash and uh, elites with one meteor. And now we have a setup that is most likely better than that. So the idea wow. is you play around the conventional element cycle and you stack up all the multipliers there is. I think this is probably the build of like the most like, you know, individual multipliers that apply to the this main skill. So we have the star pack, first of all, where you spend all of your arcane power for this one big impact. And right now, I would assume that everything that applies to the original star pack cast also applies to all of the meteor shower star packs that come from the member of twilight afterwards. So this would probably include the wave of force arcane attunement that you can stack up to incredible amounts in the large pool. You have Arcane Dynamo with 60% extra damage as well. Yeah. And then you have the Archon multipliers and you have like everything else here. And then there's obviously the weapons, 400%, Smoldering Core, 500%, Mempu, 400%. <laughs> like, that's the squirts necklace. Yeah, you're gonna pop some really big meteors here. Oh, look at this number. This shit, is a look at those damage. Four. Oh! All right, let's see. Million, billion, trillion, zillion. So three zillion, two hundred nineteen billion, two hundred and seventy-eight million, eight hundred and eight oh no, let's try that again. Three zillion nine hundred and nineteen trillion two hundred and seventy-eight billion eight hundred and eighty-six million fifty-two thousand four hundred and fourteen damage. Wow. So that's what I want to play. Or quadrillion hit for one meteor without the mempo bonus so we have to take this times five and then times seven from the meteor shower and uh, you're gonna be annihilating oh yeah <laughs> I mean, this is all without group buffs all of that, and without that's Oculus not without Ring, group buff that's not without so in anything fact, else this setup looks so powerful that you might not even need all those archon stuff to just destroy the r 150s <laughs> even without too much parallels so this is why we made the death wish setup this one is also wow. incredibly tanky because of the orb of infinite death the idea here is that you replace one of the staffs and you have, first of all, a 13th LOD item, which is kind of nice. This is actually an LOD build that has only 12 items. I think it's the only one in the game. And uh, here you actually have the full. And, well, you have like the extra damage for coming from the two weapon slots here instead of one of the staffs. There's no arc on here, so you can do damage every 16 seconds. So in case this build turns out way too powerful, you don't really want to play like this Archon rotation where it can only do a nuke every 32 seconds. And instead... I don't know how y'all feel about it, but a build can never be too powerful for me. And I know some people get bored with stuff like that, but the faster and more powerful a build is, the funner I'm having because I can blast through more amounts of uh, GRs or whatever. Nephilim rifts, uh, I guess ENs now, you know, whatever. I can do it in an amazing amount of time versus having to get frustrated and taking your time. And see, that's what Diablo three is all about to me. It's about just speed running everything and having fun. And, and Diablo two was more of the grind and want to kill yourself after doing 3000 Mephisto runs, not even getting a damn Shaco. Yeah. That was my, uh, Diablo two resurrected season start. I do play this and you can do damage like way more frequently. So this is way easier. You just like throw the meter ore and then start channeling and yeah, maybe a few of them will not be buffed by death wish, but most of them will be, and you're gonna have very, very good damage either way. Man. There's also a double staff version. So this is um, basically similar to the other one, just to add Archon again. Let's and see again, what his... the other one basically. So okay. look There's... at the damage on all of these. Solo push Archon, 7.5 million. Solo push no Archon, 7.1. He's showing us this 666 one. 
He's showing us the the one of the lower ones. I mean, look at this Speed GR Lightning, eleven million. Speed GR Lightning staff, eleven million. T sixteen solo, eight million. Y'all, this build is gonna decimate everything out there. Mm. If you guys are in my clan, you'll see that I, I always bitch about Wizard. <laughs> Wizard back, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I cried for the last three weeks. I wish they'd make a damn wizard worth of shit. And here we are fixing to be number one. It's also a double staff version. So this is um, basically similar to the other one, just to add Archon again. And again, you can also throw meteors every 16 seconds here. What he's saying so is there's a bunch of different variations go. you can do on this uh, The thing about the Archon variant is also that while it is so powerful, it is also super hard to gear and super hard to play. So I created this attack sequence here that yeah, you basically have to follow precisely like this to actually... Great. An ad break. Right. Run. Okay, so. Get a look at one gig internet. Faster speeds. That'll be our key right here. She played. So basically what he's talking about is um, it's, it's to me it's not complicated because I like to play this way. But you have to rotate... Oh, he's talking about LOD. Okay, he's not talking about Tyrosha. See, I think LOD is always harder to play. Um, you know, Wave of Light Monk is difficult. Um, Energy Twister was difficult. It's hard to gear. That's everything with LOD is hard to gear, hard to play. That's why I personally like Tyrosha are going to set, because usually it's a lot easier. Tyrosha, you're just having to rotate. Um rotate events i want to see if he talks about Tarasha at all yeah let's hear actually he says so about how good meteor is going to be now with this new mempo the one really big downside that Tarasha has it's going to be very very squishy so this is like rough my level squishy basically I also put in an esoteric alteration here just to like give it some kind of toughness. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just really hard to survive. You have like almost no items really. Here's a solo push variant where you just like spam meteors and you have an Aquila. And if you manage your resource cost reduction properly, you can actually kind of keep Aquila. But this is kind of like the only thing in this build. And this is not really the best setup anyway. So also here you're going to play Star Pact in push and you're not going to have Aquila. And you have to do like this whole combo with like arcane dynamo, etc. Again, you don't really have shields, so this is not looking really <laughs> doable for like low paragons. Okay, but why aren't we talking about the immune to attacks? Is that just me? Am I overlooking that? Like, let me know in the comments if like hog that it's not like Diablo two, but it's it's there was a change to the Tau Rasha set. Okay that said each attack that you make makes you immune to that attack. So I don't understand why we're not talking about that. So if the whole point about Tau Rasha rotation is that's how the six piece set works, arcane, coal, fire, lightning. So now they added that each attack that you make with that, you're immune to that attack. So if you're doing your four rotations, you're going to be immune to all four of those. Immunity is going to last longer than a, a millisecond, right? It's going to last a second. I'm confused. Maybe I'm just overthinking that. Let me know. I could be overthinking that. But anyway, let me wrap it up. Y'all get the picture. This is all just theory crafting. We could sit here and talk about this till the cows come home. What it, what he's trying to say is that they put some love back into wizard. So um, I'm going to be making some wizard videos because I'm going to be curious how this thing's really going to do. This is all just theory craft at this point. Um, but Appreciate y'all watching. I've been getting some good feedback. Like we just started doing this channel pretty hard. Um, I appreciate a like, appreciate a sub and, um, let's see what happens in season 27. Good luck y'all.